Welcome to another video. I'm Gamir and today I will present to you this new phone that I bought uh, as a gift. I'm going to give this to my brother uh, because I promised him to, that I will buy him an iPhone 6. But the issue is that, well, first of all, I'm not able to buy on eBay and the prices for this phone on, the, on my local places they were very expensive in my opinion like 120 dollars 140 for iphone 6 that phone is like five years old so instead i brought this i'm going to give him this to him i mean this one will be of course much better than the iphone 6 just because for being an android phone in the first place this is the lowest end i think i think maybe there's a galaxy a10e but um, this is the like the lowest one that I that there's available locally because I brought this locally. I didn't brought it uh, on eBay or anything because the prices difference is not that big. I mean, you can you can get it from like I mean, I got it for like twenty dollars more than the price on eBay, so it's not big deal. Uh, we have the features right here. It has a Infinity V display, so it has a notch. A notch. Yeah, I actually brought a phone that has a notch in it. Uh, uh, 13 megapixel uh, back camera with the front of 5. Slim design and the other specs. 4G LTE, octa core processor, which I'm going to be very interested on that. I'm going to check on that. If it is actually very good performing, that's going to be really interesting because that means that the low end phones, well, this is not a low end. I could call this like yeah, actually this should be low end, but I mean low end got good finally, finally low end. The phone cost me a one hundred and thirty something dollars, thirty five, thirty six dollars. Like that so yeah, that's actually pretty cheap. Very cool. We ha it has it says that it has a TFT display. So yeah, that's going to be interesting because usually TFT displays. LCD TFT displays, they look really bad compared to the IPS LCD displays. 32 gigabytes of storage, so they finally got they finally got enough storage. And some other stuff here you can see. So I'm going to open the box. See, the way that it opens is like sliding it, so you just slide it out. And there's the Samsung logo. So I remove this paper and we'll see. Oh, freak, I broke it. Um, yeah, it should be opening from below. What do we have here? Oh, some guys. Yeah, the Nash, the Nash. Man, I hate the Nash. Warranty information and that's it. We have the Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy A, A10. Uh, this is the only color that was available. I could not buy on a different color. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. It has a backfiring speaker. They actually did it. A backfiring speaker. Some of the features, Galaxy A10. So I'm going to remove the plastic. How did I remove it? Oh, from here. So let's just remove it and see how this beauty looks oh my goodness oh it has the plastic on the side like my note 9 because when he when i got it it has the plastic on the side at least i can understand why he had it but not on this one this one is a has a plastic body and a glass front so yeah a nosh a nosh a nosh i hate noshes but uh, I'm going to, to use this phone for uh, almost a week because after that I'm going to give this phone to my brother but I'm going to use it just to see how it experience and I will do a review of it soon so also I'm going to take some good shots of this yeah, could you focus on this please? yeah, there you go just one camera so no double or triple ones yeah so let's see what, any, what else do we have in the box we have a uh, yeah, that's a fast charging brick. Nah, this is not fast charging. I'm sure it's not fast charging. You can see the specs here. Yeah, could you just get closer? Yeah, you see this? This is the specs. Man, let me... Let's see here. Look at the specs. 
Very good. Oh, freak. I throw the thing on the front of the screen. Let's compare that to the uh, No Musa is break to the uh, 15 watts. So yeah, it is definitely smaller. So definitely not fast charging. It has that matte finish on it though. We have some other accessories like the seam removal too. I'm going to use that thing here. We have the, yeah. I mean, for this price, I kind of get it, but uh, as you can see right now, it has a micro USB browser. A micro USB in 2019. A 2019 phone with a micro USB and a backfiring speaker, like a backfiring speaker. But I mean, it, it's so cheap. It's so cheap that maybe I, I understand why it has all that very old stuff. Uh, this is uh, the headphones. Yeah, they they are very standard headphones. Let's see. So we have this microphone and the one button. It doesn't have the volume uh, remote. I want the volume remote. They they are actually pretty useful. There is something else that I forgot. Oh yeah, this thing here, the micro USB cable. Let me unbox this thing. I think it definitely won't fast charge my freaking uh, 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 phone. I mean, oh, and the cable is pretty short compared to my Note 9 the cable that came in the box. Let's see if it supports fast charging. So here it is. I'm going to connect it. There you go. And here we see that this is... Man. Yeah, definitely not fast charger. So let's turn the phone on and see what do we got here. Galaxy A10, secured by Knox. Secured by Knox. It does have Knox. That's quite interesting. Let me put all these boxes aside and put this in the front. Maybe it will look very cool. My goodness, man, this phone. I mean, I'm interested on it. I, I, I would never buy like a mid range, but I did. I would never buy a Nosh phone, but I did. A Nosh. I tested the phone a bit, uh, just a bit on the camera, just to see that it works and everything. And yeah, I can already tell that it has mm -hmm, looking very bad, man, looking very bad. Okay, the phone actually don't look worse because it's 13 megapixel. I mean, at least it has done a megapixel compared to the S4 Active that has what eight. Yeah, that's too bad. So I'm going to test the phones for almost a week and I will let you know my experience. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, the background changes every time you turn it off. So it will change right now. Yeah, very cool stuff. I, I like that feature. My Note 9 doesn't have that even though it has one UI. So the version of one UI that this thing has, oh my goodness, I pressed the button to pass it. Uh, yeah, the phone screen is almost as big as my Note 9 screens, which is pretty good. 1st of April, and yeah, if I move the screen to the size, you can see that it does not get this color or anything. So yeah, I'm going to test this phone, and man, the screen so far looks really good to be an, an TFT display, so yeah.